Hi, welcome to GoPro Pro UK. Uh, what I wanted to do was set up a little print shed and then run some um, uh, videos and some operations from there so you can really see how easy it is to have a small workshop with a digital screen maker. And um, so we'll you do a few things over the coming weeks. Um, and this is just going to run a wee video to show you the setup and what we do and all the rest of it. Catch you in there. So here we are inside my little uh, print shed. Uh, the idea behind this is that uh, if I can print inside a wee place like this, then we can show you guys how easy it is to do it too. So just to show you my setup here today, I've got a heat press. I don't have uh, space for a tunnel. I do also have a... Um, a heat gun which we can use i've got my goco pro 100 tucked down under the bench doesn't need any room which is brilliant uh link my laptop to it and uh, away we go uh, i've got a small um print press and i've got a much bigger one which i've set up for a job this morning uh, it's a single and then i've also got uh, my folding four color one and then on the other side uh, I've got my laptop uh, and I've got a little, oh, my screen and uh, all my inks laid out, uh, the new Rhizo inks which are all water based and then I've got little tubs of Plastisol ink as well. Uh, so I'm going to try and do a few different videos in here uh, that will show you uh, the options, how easy it is to work with uh, Goku Pro systems, nice and neat no washout booths no none of the mess um so yeah we'll, we'll run a few and today i'm going to do um a couple of prints and uh, we should put them all together into this video so you can see exactly what's going on uh, i'll be back in a minute That's right. so we're going to print the big uh, image onto this t-shirt and we'll see how it all comes out So we're going to have to hit it again, a bit too light down the one side. And we've still got a wee bit of the top here, I'm just going to go one more time. So the purpose of this video today was to really show the difference between the My Screen and the GoCo Pro 100. So because the My Screen only prints out an A4 size image, we've put the elephant, the centre section of the design, onto this My Screen, and then in the next clip, we will add the wording above and below the image. We can change the colour on this one, and as I say, we are just messing about, but it was really just to show the differences between the um, my screen image and the GoCo Pro 100 image. Um, because I hit the last image a couple of times, it probably made the the good elephant a little bit dark. Um, so they, they, they look kind of the same, and that's the importance of the 100. You should really only do a pull once if you want a fine light detail. Anyway, it'll be nice to see the two images. So we're messing about here and we decided to go with orange wording and we've put one bit of wording here and one bit here on this screen and we're just going to print, lift and lay further down. So uh, we'll just go here. John just holds that again. And we're going to lift it. And then we're going to cure it. Nice. We don't we need to cure it. No, don't lay just yet. Mm, step out a second. I like that. I like that.
then we're going to do our next word thing. We're going the same way. I think straight. On overlapping. Just overlapping, yeah. Don't down on his eye though. So what we'll do? We've got a little bit of greaseproof paper just to make sure that we don't. Okay, and we're just going to hold them kind of clamped to the edges. Just going to go and pull again. Fabulous. Can I give you these? Yeah. Stunning. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. I'm oh, pleased we use the orange. So we printed the first black and white, then we did the two colour one. Now on the black and white one on the left, I hit that several times and it's made it quite dark whereas if we just pulled it at once which is what we wanted to do it would have been much lighter and you would have seen much more detail but now they look very similar although both of them turned out absolutely brilliant and it shows the potential of both machines.